Right now at 6, Riverfest is underway, but tonight's fireworks show is still up in the air. We'll be live at Riverside Park with the latest. And America's birthday party is popping off around the Cooley region. Coming up, how one community is celebrating Independence Day and honoring its veterans. You're watching WKDT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 6. Good evening and thank you for joining us for News 8 Now at 6 and happy 4th of July. I'm Emily Brown. Well, we have some storms headed our way that could damper those outdoor 4th of July plans. Let's send it over to Greg for the latest. Greg. Yeah, we got that line that's coming through right now. So we got some showers up in Eau Claire, but we have more thunderstorms more for La Crosse and Southward. And I kind of show you really the alert day is still up about 9 p.m. It's now centered along and south of I-90 for some damaging wind hail. We also could have to see some heavier rainfall, but I think the severe threat is really down towards northeast Iowa and southwest Wisconsin right now. And there's your first severe thunderstorm warning with this line. We'll get that in a second. Here's this area up to the north that kind of rotates around. You can see it as it's pushing northward. That one's had some really gusty winds, about 40 maybe miles per hour. You can see that little push of the radar showing those winds really move off to the east. So that's a wind threat up there. Right now for La Crosse, not a severe threat, just showers and thunderstorms starting to fill in a little bit more. Generally, it's been light to maybe moderate rainfall with thunderstorms to the north, but that is changing. Here's that severe thunderstorm warning that's beginning to get closer to the area and that's due to hail. This line actually has a potential there for some hail and some gustier winds. You can kind of see that little hail signature, those blue areas indicating that these storms do have some hail in it and that's really where the threat is right now. As we go further north, all this is rotating up towards Eau Claire. It's generally going to be light to moderate rainfall, not much away of thunderstorms. Timing this out, this line eventually is going to work its way through the area. Potentially by 8, we should probably see on the back edge of La Crosse. Now that could change. And then as we go through about 9 and 10, it'll begin to push off to the northeast and it'll be more quiet, but still we can't roll out some showers. Unfortunately for tomorrow, no severe weather, but it's definitely going to feel more like the early part of May, given the temperatures and the showers. We'll kind of show you that, what it looks like a bit later in the broadcast. An Illinois man is dead following a fatal motorcycle crash. According to Vernon County Sheriff Roy Torgerson, 39-year-old Jonathan Tomlinson of Galesburg, Illinois, was driving his motorcycle on State Highway 35 near Genoa and lost control on June 23rd. Tomlinson sustained serious injuries and was transported to a La Crosse hospital. He was pronounced dead at the hospital July 3rd. The incident is still under investigation by the Sheriff's Office and Vernon County Coroner's Office. A Dane County judge struck down parts of Act 10 Wednesday, a law that limits public union power in Wisconsin. According to WPR, Circuit Court Judge Jacob Frost heard arguments that Act 10 violated the state constitution's Equal Protection Clause because it removed bargaining rights from teacher unions but allowed police and firefighters to keep the same rights. Frost found there was, quote, no rational basis for separating police and firefighter unions unions from other public workers. Act 10 sparked huge protest when it was proposed and later signed by Governor Scott Walker in 2011. Since then, Wisconsin teacher salaries have dropped 12 percent. Living costs rose 40 percent over the same period, according to Labor Department data. Well, multiple 4th of July celebrations have been canceled or delayed due to incoming storms tonight. According to Facebook posts from the city of Mondovi, their Independence Day parade and fireworks have been canceled. They did not announce if it will be rescheduled yet. And a Facebook post from the Chippewa Falls Parks Recreation and, and Forestry Department also announcing their music and movies in the park is canceled and their fireworks show has been rescheduled to tomorrow night at 10 p.m at Riverfront Park. Well, it might be quiet at the beaches and on the river, but at Riverside Park, the party is just getting started. Many families are embracing Independence Day at Riverfest. That's where we'll find News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall. Jeremy, how is the weather impacting the holiday so far? <coughs> Emily, happy Independence Day. You know, when I was here earlier, it was sunny, hot, and there were uh, a little bit more families here compared to now. Uh, the weather, though, has changed. It's rainy and breezy, and as you can see, there's still plenty of people behind me, but the music has simmered down a little bit. But the big question everyone's wondering, 
Will the fireworks go on? Media director DJ Albury says they will make a decision by 8 p.m. if they will go on. Right now, Albury encourages spectators to keep an eye on the weather and determine if they should come out or not. He also says the only event canceled today is one of the basketball shows. Despite overcast skies, the kids' parade attracted a crowd larger than normal. More people showed up because the weather was a little cooler this morning, whereas the last couple of years we've been having highs in the upper 80s, low 90s. So that's kind of deterred them in the past couple of years. And if the fireworks do get canceled, he tells me they will be postponed for, um, for tomorrow night. Now, it's still a little bit, or not too busy, rather, but I'm learning the festival is still a go for right now. Live from Riverfest, Jeremy Wall, News 8 Now. Emily, sending it back over to you. Looks like the rain isn't keeping too many people away. Good news. All right, thank you, Jeremy. An adorable sight at Riverfest today. The annual Kids Parade added a special family, family friendly element to the celebrations. An estimated 300 kids and their families walked in today's procession, which began just before noon. Kids also got the chance to ride on the eight car Kitty Express chain, train, which cruised around the park with an adult engineer driving, of course. Commodore and first mate Mike and Lori Lubinsky were on hand to cheer on the parade. And Riverfest Day 2 hit the ground running this morning with its annual firecracker race. The fun run offered a four-mile event, a one-mile event, and a variety of kids races. About 450 adults and 150 kids participated in the races. All proceeds from the event go to the Children's Museum and the Parenting Place. The race's director says its goal is giving kids and families a chance to have healthy outdoor fun. For a lot of these families, there's a lot of things to do on the 4th, but they don't always coincide with getting people outside and being healthy and active. Uh, and this event, it's a free event, so all the kids got to run for free. They got shirts for free. Um, and so they get to come out here, no strings attached, just come out and enjoy running around and cheering everybody on. And that's kind of the goal is just get them outside. Adult runners who finished in the top three for their age group received gift cards to downtown lacrosse businesses. The event was sponsored by Gunderson, Ultra Federal Credit Union, and others. Today, Bangor's American Legion hosted its annual Independence Day celebration. And as News 8 Now's Allison Fergett explains, the event was both a time for fun and reflection. While families celebrated with good food and fun, a special event reminds us exactly what the 4th of July is all about. Bangor's American Legion Independence Day celebration, a favorite in the community. But the joyous celebration blanketed for the Quilts of Valor presentation. Quilts of Valor is a national project that awards quilts to veterans or active service members. Three local veterans were awarded the quilts. It was fantastic to be honored today, especially this being my hometown community. Oh, it was just great. I think it's really nice to get veterans connected. We all get along so good here, you know. It gives, lets you know somebody that's been through the same thing you have. It's not lost on them that the presentation fell on Independence Day, a day with extra meaning for those who fought to keep our country free. To be honored on the 4th of July, especially by my hometown community, is just a really great thing. It's a, it's a great feeling knowing that my friends and neighbors are all here. If you know a veteran or active service member that you would like to nominate for a Quilt of Valor, you can go to their website. We'll have that posted on our digital platforms. Reporting in Bangor, Allison Fergit, News 8 Now. All right, thank you, Allison. Hurricane Barrel is racing across the Caribbean. We'll tell you if it's a threat to the U.S. coming up. Fourth of July savings are going on right now at Home Furniture. Get up to an extra 15% off sale prices. This seven-piece room package is just $17.99, and this dining set is just $9.49. Hurry in. The Fourth of July savings won't last long at Home Furniture. To me, it's the worst thing a parent can face. My daughter was pregnant, and she was about to lose her baby. Because of the extreme abortion ban in her state, we were about to lose her as well. Doctors were not even allowed to help Mandy until she was near death. I'm conservative, but that makes no sense. An extreme abortion ban almost killed my daughter. A national abortion ban would be devastating for all families.
we provide specialty level care in anything from wisdom tooth removal to dental implant placement to more complex corrective jaw surgeries. Trying to make it as easy of an experience as you can go through. We're the most experienced clinic in the region for these uh, types of procedures. If you or your family member needs wisdom teeth removed, uh, tooth extraction, dental implants, you found the right place, we'd be happy to see you here. We work closely with your general dentist, have a discussion with your dentist about a referral to us. During the 4th of July mattress sale at Home Sleep Express, get $500 off Tempur-Pedic Breeze mattresses and a $300 shopping card with free white glove delivery and a 120-night guarantee. Tempur-Pedic, now at Home Sleep Express. Hurricane Barrel continues its trek through the Caribbean with Mexico and the southern U.S. in its sights. The now Category 2 storm system hammered the Cayman Islands as it moved away from Jamaica and left behind a trail of destruction on other islands, including at least nine deaths. Tom Hansen reports from Montego Bay, Jamaica. Drone video released by the Office of the Prime Minister of Grenada shows the extent of the damage on the island of Karakou as a result of Hurricane Barrel. Look at my house. The storm wiped out most homes on Union Island in St. Vincent and the Grenadines earlier this week before moving across the Cayman Islands and pounding parts of Jamaica Wednesday as a Category 4 storm. We hear the, the tree drop down and then we see the, a portion of the house top start blew off. Along Jamaica's southern coast, barrel flooded roads, snapped trees, and knocked out power to hundreds of thousands of people. Here in Montego Bay, it is nowhere near as catastrophic as it potentially could have been. As we drove around, we did see that there was a lot of downed power lines, uh, trees that had been uprooted, completely yanked from the earth. Sydney McDonald and Andre Rodriguez flew to the island nation to get married this week kind of accepting that we might have to make some changes to our wedding and we'll have to roll with it. It'll be a memory if nothing else. In eastern Mexico, preparations are now underway in resort areas including Cancun and Tulum, where residents, business owners and tourists are bracing for barrels expected landfall Friday. We want to make sure that uh, all our citizens are taken care of. Officials in South Texas are also keeping an eye on the storm, distributing sandbags to residents in Cameron County. I'm here because I need some protection just in case. Where Barrel could bring significant rainfall. Tom Hanson, CBS News, Montego Bay, Jamaica. Now, forecasters say Hurricane Barrel could bring four to eight inches of rain to Brownsville, Texas, if it hits the state early next week. Well, it's a tricky subject. We'll have some tips on how to talk to kids about climate change. That's up next. We got severe storms this evening, but we still got some showers going on for Friday, but it's going to feel more like May with that brisk north wind. We'll break down what the temperatures look like and then what the weekend looks like. That all coming up on your first morning weather update after the break. Ashley Stars and Stripes mattress sale is going on now. Save up to $500 on select mattresses. Plus pay 0% interest for five years with no minimum purchase on all in-store purchases. Only at Ashley. Shop more deals in-store and online. Nearly 250 years ago, America was founded in defiance of a king. Under the belief that no one is above the law, not even the president. Until now. The same Trump Supreme Court that overturned Roe v. Wade ruled that the president can ignore the law even to commit a crime because Donald Trump asked them to. He's already led an insurrection and threatened to be a dictator on day one. Donald Trump can never hold this office again. I'm Joe Biden and I approve this message. Isn't it time you turn your backyard into the oasis you've always wanted? Come to La Crosse Fireplace Company and find your outdoor setup. Imagine gathering with family and friends around your wood-fired pizza oven. Sit back and relax around your new fire table. Available in different sizes and styles to fit your lifestyle and budget. 
Stop in this month and receive 15% off all in-stock outdoor products. Lacrosse Fireplace Company, because your place is outside by the fire. They say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, they are correct. Enjoy one of our tasty steak patty sandwiches paired with a $2 medium-iced coffee. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. And done. Can we just call my dad now? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Gorilla Glue. Of course. Gorilla Glue is incredibly strong and versatile, even outdoors. <laughs> For the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Hot Buys, now only $7.99. And get a free adjustable base upgrade with an Align by Ashley Sleep mattress purchase. Only at Ashley. Shop more deals in-store and online. You expect more. So thank you for watching News 8 Now. Talking with children about climate change can be daunting, but the managing director of a leading education group says there are ways parents and kids can connect on the topic. Dr. Elizabeth Bagley says climate change is already shaping the future the next generation will inhabit, so there's a responsibility to talk about it. There's a lot of things that are coming at them that can be really scary, that can be confusing, and so I... Uh, encourage folks to start by listening, to know, listening to what they're concerned about, to learning more about the solutions that people are putting into place in their communities and really being that trusted adult for the kids in our lives. Dr. Badley also says there are constructive ways to discuss the topic with climate change deniers by first finding some common ground like hunting and fishing and talking about ways to keep those activities sustainable. Well, hopefully we'll have some change in our weather conditions for the rest of the 4th of July week. Greg, exactly how long is this rain going to last today? We have more of the concentrated showers and thunderstorms that will last here this evening, but we still got some showers going on Friday, but it's not going to be an all day rain and it certainly won't be severe or really heavy. So we got the storms and showers till 10. We'll still have showers after that point, but a lot of areas will remain dry through tomorrow and then tomorrow we'll still have more showers off and on. This low is going to sit right over us and spin. It's definitely going to keep us cloudy and cool. Temperatures struggling to get to 70 with a brisk north wind too. Won't feel that very comfortable, but here's this line concentrated area of Embedded thunderstorms and moderate to some heavy rainfalls that pushes through the east. The only severe thunderstorm warning we got right now is to the further south, just east of Mason City. If you kind of zoom in, this is for gusty winds, a little bit of a surge right there going. And we'll see if it holds together. That's going to head really towards Decorah right now. If we kind of time that out, you can kind of see in a few. There's the winds from the radar picking up a little bit of a push right there. So maybe 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gust as this line continues to push. And I think that's going to be the area that's going to be more concerned for severe weather. It's northeast Iowa. Southwest Wisconsin with that line. A lot of the area up here will just see potentially some heavier rainfall. So this line will push across the area by about seven, eight, should get close to the Mississippi area. We'll see showers and thunderstorms continuing. Now, the timing of when it actually ends is a little bit in question. I think by eight, I think most of it will be pushing east. We can't rule out some showers behind it. The severe threat really will be done by nine. Everything lifts to the northeast. And by the time we get to about 10, it'll be north probably of I 94 and east of 990. So those areas will continue to see some showers and storms. The remaining area is this low kind of pushes to the east. So we generally see cloudy conditions with on and off showers throughout the night. And eventually as we get later in the night, the whole area kind of sees on and off few showers, may seem drizzle. You can see there's some uh, showers that do develop off and on throughout the night. So that's what we'll see. But it will be pretty much widely scattered throughout the morning hours, even as we go out through Friday morning. Cloud cover, and you can see the really the rotation going around this low. And that's what we're going to see. Generally start to see an uptick in the showers, probably between about 10 to maybe about 4 p.m. with some daytime heating. Hit and miss showers, a north wind, temperatures struggling to get to 70. The good news is once we get closer to the evening, about six, seven, you'll start seeing this activity begin to diminish. 
a little bit of clearing skies. Overall, Friday evening doesn't look too bad with temperatures lowering back in the 60s. Even Saturday may wake up with some morning fog issues, but otherwise we should have generally dry conditions. But unfortunately, it doesn't last too long. We have another system that's already beginning to push into southwest Minnesota by Saturday afternoon. That's going to bring more showers and thunderstorms. Potentially, you can see the circulation out there by the time we get to Saturday night into Sunday. So Saturday overall doesn't look too bad. Even Friday evening and night doesn't look too bad too, but it will be kind of on the cool side. But unfortunately, we got to get through tonight or at least through 10. A lot of rainfall showers and thunderstorms coming through the area. We'll see it just off and on after midnight. Many areas might remain dry in tomorrow. Definitely more May like temperatures with that north wind, occasional showers, not expecting any severe or heavy amounts of rain, but definitely won't feel like early July weather. The good news is we're going to Saturday. We do have a brief break with the, the, the rain, but then it comes back in Saturday into Sunday. And then we have Monday and Tuesday, although there'll be plenty of dry breaks in both days. Temperatures below average, but the good news, once we get past Wednesday into next week, mm -hmm. it does look dry and the temperatures come back up to the mid 80s by next weekend. So there's some positive. How are tonight's temps going to be? Are we going to need a jacket at all after yeah, this rain? It's going to be a little damp, so we'll get in the 60s, but it won't be chilly, but uh, it definitely will 60s. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to need a sweater. All yeah. right, thank you, Greg. Coming up in sports, a new record and a first time mustard belt winner on Coney Island. Plus, the Twins' offensive offense provided an early fireworks show in their series finale against Detroit. Jacobs up next. Is it time for new windows or doors? Contact the company who has done the research for you. The best windows and doors installed by the best people. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions. Our Constitution has given us more rights, freedoms, and prosperity than any country in history. Every 4th of July, we come together to celebrate those freedoms. But right now, we're a divided nation. We have to stop putting on the blue jersey or red jersey. Instead, put on the red, white, and blue jersey. Come together and get things done. I'm Eric Hubby. I approve this message. Looking to update your home? Shop the Habitat Restore. The Habitat Restore offers a wide selection of new and gently used building materials and home furnishings at an incredibly low price. From furniture and cabinets, windows and doors, appliances, vintage items, reclaimed lumber, and everything in between. The Restore has what you're looking for, and new products arrive daily. So before you run to that big box store, shop the Habitat Restore, providing families with a place to call home. Time is running out on the area's biggest and best furniture sale. The huge 4th of July sale at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. It's everything you've asked for. Store-wide sale prices, 48-month special financing, and we'll even pay for your gas just for shopping. At Drury's, you'll save on the area's finest selection of quality brands like Stressless, Flex Steel, and Smith Brothers, all at incredible savings. It's the 4th of July sale at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. But you'll have to hurry. It all ends Monday. Fire up the grill and get brats and buns for just one buck this Friday through Sunday at hy V. Now that's a meal deal. Get hy V's famous brats for just a buck. Choose from 12 flavors of brats for just one buck each. And get eight hy V buns for just a buck. Burger buns for just a buck too. And while you've got the grill going, throw on some mouth-watering burgers. Fresh ground chuck, only $3.98 a pound. Friday through Sunday, only at hy V. Bring all of the exciting action from your community. Here's News 8 Now Sports. Well, nothing quite like watching America's pastime on the 4th of July. Hope everyone out there is having a great Independence Day. The Twins were in action earlier today, looking to make it four series wins in a row against the Tigers. Detroit jumped out to an early lead, but Minnesota's bats would not be held down for long. In the third, it's Max Kepler delivering with two outs and the bases loaded. That single drives in two, making it four to three. Then it's Jose Miranda in the fourth, and boy, did he have a monster game today. That ball is lined to the gap in left center. Carlos Correa scores easily. Then Trevor Larnick turns on the Jets around third, and he is safe as well. Miranda finished five for five on the day. Then Ryan Jeffers wants to start the fireworks show just a little bit early. That ball is gone. Twins offense really swinging it well as of late. This game ends in seven innings due to rain, but Minnesota picks up the win over their AL Central foe. Brewers will go for the series win tonight against Colorado, but some big news was announced yesterday as Christian Yelich and William Contreras will be representing Milwaukee at the All-Star game as starters. It'll be the eighth time in franchise history that the Brewers have 
multiple starters in a Midsummer Classic game. And for Yelich, it's his third time being named an All-Star, while Contreras will represent the NL for the second time in his career. The crew will, the, the game will take place on July 16th in Arlington. Well, yesterday we heard from UWL sprinter Sam Blaskowski about how he took so much pride in representing Division Three athletes and his university at the U.S. Olympic Trials. Now, today he touches on the task of running against the best sprinters in the world and how he embraces the challenge. It would be really nice to be an Olympian for Germany or some heritage that I do have and if I really wanted to go back, but I do like working hard for something that I want to earn, so yeah. And what's a July 4th sports segment without highlights from the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest? Mickey Sudo was crowned the champion in the women's division, finishing with 51 dogs. That was a new record and her 10th title. Meanwhile, no Joey Chestnut on Coney Island today, so it was a wide open field. And Patrick Bertoletti was the man that took home the mustard belts, eating 58 dogs and buns. The lowest total, though, first place has finished with since 2010. So all the talk about hot dogs today, Emily. What are your preferred toppings on a hot dog? I'm a go big or go home type gal. It's the the mustard, the the ketchup, the onion, the relish. The I fixings. like all of it. And then since moving to the Midwest, actually, I got into chili dogs. I yeah, never ate like those, that. so I I I love I love a chili dog yeah. with cheese on it too. What about you? Ketchup mustard. Ketchup. Nice that's and simple. simple. So, nice and simple. simple. Yeah. Can't go and, wrong with that. And you like to eat them slow. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not with dunk them in water. No. Like them. No. Oh my goodness. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks Weather. for tuning into the sports. We'll Weather's have another look at your forecast right after this. Keep your vehicle clean at ShipShape Car Wash in Alaska. Unlimited car wash is only $19.99 per month. Your choice of soft touch or touchless automatic, just $19.99 per month. And we do dualies. ShipShape Car Wash, next to Festival Foods in Alaska. I'm sure it's going to be frustrating for somebody to show up at their hearing place and they're closed or maybe they can't get in for a while. Even if you didn't get your hearing aids with us, we'd be happy to take a look at them. We service and repair many different makes and models of hearing aids. If your hearing aid is still under warranty, we can do some warranty work for you there, even if you didn't get them from us. If you are looking for a new hearing center, we've been here for a long time and we take all insurances. Better Hearing Center on Alaska next to St. Pat's Church. Wow, forest berry fudge is amazing. Mmm, this is melting in my mouth. Dill pickle? Whoa, that's actually good! Mmm, holy fudge. This is the best thing ever. Expressions, brought to you by Valley Fudge and Candy. Find us in Coon Valley, Wisconsin, or order online today. Keep your vehicle clean at ShipShape Car Wash in Alaska. Unlimited car wash is only $19.99 per month. Your choice of soft touch or touchless automatic, just $19.99 per month. And we do dualies. ShipShape Car Wash, next to Festival Foods in Alaska. All right, there's the showers and thunderstorms. We're watching more of the southwest Wisconsin, northeast Iowa, just south of the cross for more severe weather. There's that severe thunderstorm warning it's for gusty winds. That's out for another about five or so minutes. It is going to push eastward. If it holds together, that would be something to keep an eye of. Otherwise, everything should clear out here, hopefully, by eight or nine. Okay, real quickly, what's your favorite type of hot dog? Chicago dog. Chicago dog. Yeah. All right, like it. Thank you for joining us at six. We'll see you at 10.